In the previous video, I showed you a real simple app. You click this button, and, and the button turns red. So like if I run this app, uh, click the button, it turns red. Okay, now let's change it. So the challenge is, let's make it so if I click it once, it turns red, and then click it again, turns back to blue, and basically toggles back and forth. And so we'll just change the text on here. But this is not going to change the behavior. But we'll call it like click red blue. Okay. And these are just the initial properties of an app. So when an app starts, it's going to take on these properties. But of course, it's going to change as the app runs. And and what I've got is just kind of a visualization of of, of an app's hidden memory. And so right when the app begins, it's going to the properties are going to look like like this, right? Okay, so let's 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 talk about the blocks for coding um, the the behavior we want. The flip flop, right? Red to blue, and and so on. First thing I'm going to do is I just want to make sure when things begin that we've got the blue we want, and and so I can change a background color with blocks using what's called a set block. Okay, and right when the screen opens, I am going to change and make sure we've got a particular shade of blue. Okay, so the app's going to be, right now it's going to work exactly as it did before. When the screen opens, it'll be this particular blue, and when we click, it'll change to red. Okay, but really what I want is on the click for it to go back and forth. And, and the way we're going to do is with what's called a conditional if statement, right? And it, with an app, we can ask questions. Um, and the questions are these if blocks or if else blocks. Okay, and I'm actually going to use an if else block because we've got two branches. We either want to do one thing or, or another. Okay. Um, so this is the way you ask questions is with these if blocks. So when this event occurs, we're not going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to ask questions and depending on the answer, we're going to do something different. And what we want to ask is, you know, is, is, the, is the background color blue? And only if it's blue do we want to change to red. Okay, and so what we're going to use is what's called an equals block. And so we want to compare two things. And what we want to compare is the backgrounds, sorry, the background color of the button. Okay, and I talked about the set block. That means change some property, like change the property of some, of, of some component. And in this case, the get block is kind of the opposite. It says, oh, go look and see what's in the in that property. Okay, so I'm, what I want to do is I want to say, let's go get the background color of the button. Okay, and depending on what, what it is, okay, so if it's blue, okay, then we're going to change the color to red. Okay, if it's not blue, meaning in this case, it must be red because we're only going to flip flop between two. But if it's not blue, let's change it to blue, right? So we could say else if it's red, change it to blue, but we know that if it's not blue, that it's red, and we want to change it back to blue. So I'm just going to grab this, and essentially that's our code, right? You know, every time I click the button, ask if it's blue, if it's not, change it to red, and if it's not blue, um, change it to blue, okay? And on the screen opens, we're going to change it to blue. So let's go back to the designer preview this thing. Okay, now we're running the app. Um, the initial properties are set. So here's the initial properties. And those basically, right when you run the app, they get put into the hidden memory for the app. Okay. But now I'm the user. I'm not the coder anymore. I'm the user. I'm testing now. And when I click on the button, it changes to red. And what really happened, you know, notice the initial properties. Those are a different thing. Those are part of the coding environment, right? Um, but when I'm running it, the first time I click it, the hidden memory of the app changes that background color of the button to red, okay? Um, you know, going back to our blocks, we know that um, if, it's, if it's blue, it's gonna change to red, and if it's not blue, it's gonna change it to blue. So now when I click the second time, it goes back to blue, okay? So that hidden memory is just flip-flopping back and forth. Every time I click this thing, we get a toggle. Okay, so kind of a key here is, you know, two things. One is we've got, you know, in our coding environment, we can change, you know, the initial properties of, of a component. And really what that means is when we run the app, 
either you know, in this little preview environment or on a device, there's this kind of memory we can't see that gets set to all these values right when the app starts, okay? But then when the app's running, as the user does stuff, you know, in this case, just clicking a button, we change that hidden memory. And as we're, you know, as these events occur, we can actually ask questions about that memory and based on what the values there are, do different things. And, you know, what, what I'm showing you with these if statements and these if else blocks, you know, it's basically the, the structure you use to do any kind of artificial intelligence. I mean, this is very, very simplistic artificial intelligence, right? Um, but th this is the building blocks you'll use to do it. So you've got these event handlers and within those event handlers, you can ask questions.